Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and hello and welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a set of acrylic nails and everything that I use is from CJP as everybody knows that follows me on Facebook and Instagram and on here and all that good stuff on social media. The only brand that I will ever use is CJP so everything that you see in the video apart from some of the crystals is from CJP. So I've gone in with a clear base layer of sculpted acrylic. I've used crystal glass and this is an infill and redesign. So I've removed all of Katie's previous design and I've gone in and filled the nails with crystal glass clear acrylic after all my usual prep. I've got loads of videos on that if you want to go back and watch some of my prep videos and how I debulk and get rid of um, all of the previous acrylic design. And yeah, we're going in with design now. So after refining the shape a little bit and fixing up some bits or missing nails, whatever comes back after four weeks, after Christmas, um, we've done all that good stuff. And now we're going in with design. So the first color that I've gone in with on the pinky is Fool's Gold. And this is a really rich, darker, warmer gold. Um, it's not a yellow gold, nowhere near a yellow gold. It's a, like a bronzy gold, but it's definitely gold. Um, my lighting is a little bit off on this video, I will say, but I absolutely love this colour combination together. So the orange that we're going in with on the ring finger is Mango Tango. It's one of the most beautiful bright orange colours. Katie absolutely loves her oranges. She's got orange toes to match too in this. So we've done a full nail of those. It's quite plain to begin with, um, but a lot of the design comes on top with gold crystals. So on the middle finger we're going in with a full nail of Mango Tango again. And then on the index finger we're going to go in with a glitter fade on the Mango Tango using both colours. And then I think it's all Mango Tango on the thumb. So I'll just let you watch this, I'm not going to talk all the way through it. And then I'll go in and encapsulate all of the nails and file them up. And then we'll come back when we start doing some crystal design. So I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, so once I'm finished encapsulating all of the nails in crystal glass clear acrylic, I'm gonna go in and do all my usual filing. So I'll go in with my medium carbide drill bit on my e-file to debulk and seal in the cuticle and then refine with my hand file. And now I'm going in with some bling. So I'm using the CJP gripper glue and my crystallese and I'm just placing some gold Swarovski crystals in like a flower design. So she wanted something really pretty in the corner of her thumb. So we went in with an SS12 Swarovski crystal in the corner for sort of the centre of the flower and then I'm just using the little teardrop shaped ones for the petals. Just nudge those round and apply them and then we do a full bling nail on a ring finger. So I'll just let you watch. So when I'm happy with all of the design and all my crystals are on and my glue is setting nicely, I'll then go in and add my tack free top gloss. So I'll apply a nice layer to this all over the nails. And yeah, I'll just apply a thin layer of this to all 10 nails and then I'll cure them in the LED light for 60 seconds and then pull them out, let them cool and then pop my kids coil on. And that'll be the finished design done. So I've left a picture at the end so you can see the finished result. And yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.